What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Hopped Up Shots. This week, we are going to hop into a beer that is not my favorite style, so it's going to be real interesting once we get to Thirsty Thursday, where we crack it open. But let's see what we can come up with this week for Sea Mist New England IPA by Thimble Island Brewing Company. Stick around and see what we can come up with on Hopped Up Shots. All right, so New England IPA, Sea Mist. Uh, there's some fun things I think we can do with this. Uh, I think we're going to keep this more along that seafaring type style. Uh, I think maybe we're going to go one dark, one light. So what I'm thinking here is specifically for Seamus, we go two different routes. Like I said, one dark, one light. Uh, I think we give this an old ship-like view. I think we're going to kind of set this up long ways. Put the can in the middle. And then from there, I think we're going to use some cool props that we have. Uh, we've got some old shipping like hooks and some rope and an old lantern, which I think will look cool here. Um, and then to give it that sea mist type vibe, uh, I don't know if we're going to spray some water or we've got a clothing steamer. Um, I think maybe we use that to kind of create this dark and ominous fog style vibe there uh, and see what we can come, come, can come up with. Excuse me. Um, but I want to give this that old timey on a ship at night type of vibe. Uh, from there, I think what we can do is set up more of a beach scene. I want to go a little bit more on the New England side here. So maybe rocky cliffs with a lighthouse. Uh, I think maybe we're going to go back to the method of setting up a photo on a screen put that in the background so we'll set up our tv or monitor in the back here uh, i think we'll just have the table set in front and then i'm thinking we use a lot of sand set the can on top of the sand and then use a bunch of little shells and rocks and really give it that we're sitting on the beach type of vibe uh, so something a little brighter, a little sunnier than the previous shot and see what we like best. So we'll get two different styles and find out if we like the sunnier look for Sea Mist or if we like that darker nighttime, older ship type of vibe that we come up with. So with that being said, let's get it together, set up and see what we come up with. Okay, so we've got Sea Mist here from Thimble Island Brewing Company. So we're doing two similar shots, but very different vibes, right? So the first one, we're going to use our old rustic wood board type tabletop, and we're going to give this an old, you know, sailing vessel type vibe. Um, we're going to shoot this long ways down the table. We're going to decorate it with some older items, so an old lantern, some rope, some uh, rustic-y type vibes. And we're going to go a little bit darker on this one. Um, so we're going to give it that depth. We're going to give it that uh, basically old ship at night type of vibe and see what we can come up with. And then uh, we'll take it from there, see how it comes out. Hang around.
Alright, so to add to our Sea Mist vibe here, I have my clothes steamer, which we're going to fire up and try to create just that little ambiance of fog or, you know, that sea, no, sea mist, literally, sea mist, just washing across the front of this uh, scene that we've got set up here. Um, and we'll see how this turns out. Uh, I like the way this is looking. We've got all of our items kind of leading towards the can. We've got the nice orange light behind our lantern. Uh, so we'll probably play around with a couple of the items here, but overall I, I like the way this scene is set, just like we planned it out. So for this shot of Sea Mist, we are going to go for the bright and sunny look. Um, it, it is a New England India Pale Ale, so we're going to try to go with kind of that rocky cliff-like vibe. Uh, we're going to take our monitor. We are going to put up that kind of lighthouse cliff type stock photo. We're going to spread a whole bunch of sand out on our table here. We've got a whole bunch of shells and rocks that my daughter loves collecting. And we're gonna try to set the scene here and just give this a cool, uh, you know, New England type vibe. Uh, we may bring in the clothes steamer to give it a little bit more mist. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll see what it looks like. Let's, let's put it together. So there were a couple different photos of the fog that I ended up liking, but ultimately decided on this one. And the edit was relatively easy. I liked the way this looked out of camera. Uh, so we you know, made our corrections for the lens and cropped it a little bit in, but a lot of this was highlighting the can. The scene was kind of orange already, so we focused our attention on the can, uh, raised the exposure, added some contrast, warmed it up to bring out that orange a little bit more, and then some texture and clarity, and then moved on to the background where we brought the exposure down, contrast down, warmed it up, and then you know, added that clarity, and I really liked the way this came out. And then for the beach scene, this came down to a lot of the crop. We had that nice background. So a lot of this came to kind of color correcting and making sure that the foreground matched the background a little bit more. So with that can, we raised that exposure, added some contrast, made it a little more orange. And then we focused on that foreground, trying to make that beach look similar to that beach in the background. Uh, it's not gonna be exact. It never would be if you were looking close up and far away, but Overall, this came out really nice. We like the texture of the sand a lot, so that you really get that feeling of being there and not just looking at a screen. All right, so we came up with some cool shots there for Sea Mist by Thimble Island. Uh, so again, IPA, join us on Thursday where I step out of my comfort zone and see what I think of this. Uh, IPAs are by no means my favorite style of beer, uh, so, We'll see. Maybe this one will win me over. Uh, I'm not convinced just by my own taste buds, but there are some out there that I like a little more than others. Uh, if you liked this episode, uh, please, in the comments below, tell me which one of those two shots did you like better? And if you've got any ideas for future beers you want to see me try, again, we just go out uh, take a look at our local bottle shop or beer distributor, find cans that look interesting to us, and go from there. But if you've got something that you think will stump me for a shoot, I'd love to hear it, see it in the comments, and let me know. Uh, but other than that, there's lots of other videos that we've been putting up. We've got a whole short series on which beer glass to use and when. Uh, we've got our other creative beer photography shoots. And then, as always, there's Thirsty Thursday. If you're looking for a new beer to try, check out that series. I hope you enjoy it, 
and we'll catch you next week on Hopped Up Shots. (laughs) 